Now, this should come as a surprise to practically no one, but I'm not much of a sports gamer. I know right the little nerdy guy is a sports gamer, ha! Huh? But the main reason is, I never really got into sports. I was way too short to play basketball, and not really the right ethnicity. Um, I definitely was not coordinated enough to play baseball. I wasn't physically impressive enough to play football. And I couldn't skate. But that didn't stop me from actually enjoying hockey, though. Ice hockey had the right amount of brutality and finesse for me that I really enjoyed watching it. And I would actually enjoy playing it on the school ground. Uh, rather, the on-foot version without roller skates or ice skates or anything. But whatever the case, because I actually enjoyed the sport, I really liked hockey games, too. Go figure, right? So they were about the only sports games that I really tolerated as a kid. And honestly, I made a good pick. Because, in essence, hockey really does translate very well to an arcade-style game. And even with impressive amounts of simulation like today's games, the gameplay still remains relatively unchanged. So, let's take a look back at some of the more classic hockey games that I grew up with. Starting with Ice Hockey on the NES. Nintendo is not really known for their first party sports titles, and this is no exception. There are three player types and each team has a different assortment of four. The problem is, is that the control kinda sucks. You move your characters around the screen okay, but you're always in manual control of the goalies, so it's impossible to play defense and goalie at the same time. The AI is also vicious, so good luck overcoming the learning curve. If you have another human player in front of the console, it's not terrible, but the one player mode should be avoided unless you really like pain. Next up we have the Konami Classic. Blades of Steel. So the question should be, does it best Nintendo's effort? Yes it does. Gameplay is way better here. The arena is much bigger, the characters control fine, and playing defense isn't a pointless endeavor. You are still in constant manual control of the goalie, but the AI is less insane and there's more ice in your zone, so it's a little more manageable. The graphics and sound are great for the system, and there's even horrible speech! This is easily the best hockey game on the NES I've played, not that there's many options. Now we have Mario Lemieux Hockey. Does Genesis do what Nintendo don't? Let's take a look. To summarize this gaming award would be disappointing. In the end, it all comes down to the less than responsive controls, which is a shame because it's perfectly fine in almost every other respect. Well, despite the fact that it doesn't have official NHL teams. Also, for a hockey simulation, they seem a little rusty on the rules. Both players get a 5 minute major for fighting, not just the loser. Weak Sega. Next we have NHL 96! Yes, I'm aware there's a sparkly bug sticker on it. Yes, I was a kid once too. <laughs> this is the same cartridge I've had since I was a kid, so let's take a look at it. More than any other sports game, hockey games seem to retain their instant playability even in the face of increasing realism. That being said, even the early EA hockey games were an absolute joy, and still hold up years later. NHL 96 is one of the most feature-rich options on the Genesis, with season mode, create a player, and full control over your lines. Not to mention battery backup for saving your seasons and custom players. Doing good graphics and decent sound effects, saying you have a package that's hard to be on the console. It's also dirt freaking cheap, so this will run you under a buck. There may be no better value in gaming. And last, but certainly not least, there's Mutant League Hockey. Take NHL 94, add weapons, mutants, and a whole lot more violence, and you have Mutant League Hockey. It's fun, but flawed. The frame rate is pretty choppy for some reason, and the passing is less than responsive. But for everything it falters on, it makes up for a tenfold on presentation and fun factor. Does it really get any better than chopping up that pesky goalie with a cleaver, or bribing the ref to call bullshit penalties on your opponent? I don't think so. 
Well, I hope you enjoyed this look back at hockey games with me. Who knows, maybe I'll look at some others in the future if anything tickles my fancy. Um, thanks for watching, and I hope to see you back here.